Hello, Sim Gamers. We are starting off a new series of Let's Play Sailwind. Want to get a chance to get caught up on all the changes that had come up, come through uh, in the year that I have been away from the game. It's still in early access, available on Steam. So we're going to dive right into it. Gonna grab a couple missions. Looks like we need uh, some spices, some rum, and potentially some water. Spices and rum to El Nalim, um, Al Nilem, sorry. Should total 12 on clients. A uh, new thing that's available is trading, which we don't have enough reputation for right now. Looks like we're moving six barrels. That might make for some interesting sailing. Spices, spices, spices. Okay. Just want to get this quickly loaded up and get underway. As part of the series, we are going to have, take a chance to talk about um, navigation techniques. Kind of refer to them by, by their correct name. Talk about how to use them in Sailwind. Okay, I can't be too picky with this. So I gotta get moving. I'll fix that later when I'm in the water. The quicker I can get this loaded up, the quicker we're out of here. Sailwind is a, a chill sailing game. There's no combat. Uh, there's no time acceleration except for when you're docked or sleeping through the night. But even then, things could happen. So I can get problematic. I wonder if I should put these two abreast. Let's worry about that in a bit. What I think I might actually do is... Put those on their side here? I don't know. question is, do I have room between that one and the wheel? No, I don't. I can't be too picky about how these are placed. But I do want to be able to move around my, uh, my, my ship as I'm sailing. So I guess we're going to have a little bit of rum stacked up here. Get settled. Okay. That'll work. Hopefully that doesn't mess with our center of gravity too much. Getting underway is as easy as unmooring the mooring ropes. Like so. Give a little push off here so the uh, boat is no longer in collision with the dock. Let go of the main sheet and let go of the halyard. And we're sailing. Double check my log, we are headed to Al Nalim, which is due north. Because I know the area, I know that due north is approximately this way. Of course, we do have our compass and stuff available and we will use those to get ourselves all tied up and centered. This can go here, this can go here, this can go here. Place things back down on the table. Now, we're not quite headed due north. We have a little bit more turning to do. But since our, our sailing position is currently, um, I have a cheat sheet for this. I think this is pretty much broad reach. That song had a long outro. But we need to really haul in this to get moving at all. So 
Somewhere in the vicinity of close reach, I think, is what that sailing position is. Not quite close hauled, but getting close. That eh, could be called considered close hauled. Close hauled is a, is a, is as um, where the wind is as close to the bow as it can get reasonably while still having anything approaching forward momentum. This trip to Al Nilim, sorry, Al Nilem, should take us just about a day. And along the way, we're going to use navigation techniques that are used in the real world. Namely, piloting, or pilotage, depending on how you want to pronounce it. It's a navigation skill that, while used in aviation, is not necessarily related to aviation. It was actually born of sailing first. And piloting is, or pilotage is the method of navigation one uses when they are using bearings to known landmarks to find their position on a map. So if I just make sure my... Yeah, crosshair opacity is fine. If I take my cross here and point it towards something, I can get a bearing. This is east, uh, east, northeast. East by east, northeast. Or I should say east by northeast. This uh, aisle up here is the Isle of Clear Mine. It is north by northeast. And then of course the island behind us is due south. And I have no idea what's going on with that ship in the water there. <laughs> Some glitchiness. Um, but if we look at our map and sort of invert those compass directions, right? Instead of east northeast, we go west southwest and draw a line coming out of Gold Rock City. Instead of north north east, we do south southwest and draw a line coming out of Clear Isle of Clear Mind, and then a line coming north from Neverdin. We can find where those lines cross, and that's our position on the map. I'm going to turn just a little bit more to port. Actually, that was the wrong thing to do. I want to take a couple notches to starboard. See if I can't keep that sailing position working for me. More Sailwind content was requested by comments on other videos and I listened. So leave a comment with your Sailwind experiences like Simking who said, it took me a week to sail from Academy to close to the next island, lost any profit and had no food left. Sounds rough. I hope your next journey was much more lucrative. That was Aging Juniper by Harris Heller, part of the Stream Beats Lo-Fi playlist, and it is time for us to do some navigation in here. If we look over to the east, we see that we just crossed a point where the um, the Isle of Clear Mind passed in front of Gold Rock City, so we can realistically draw a straight line through there to indicate uh, where we are north-south. Um, I can actually see Al Nalim more north northwest than anything else. And I can just barely make out in the distance as uh, sun sets more south than anything Neverdeen. So that allows me to use this map to basically draw those cross reference lines to find out where I am in relation to this map. 
once again using that technique I described earlier called piloting or pilotage. Now it is getting proper dark out. Um, I should go ahead and hydrate before bed. And as I am actually this close to Al, uh, is it Al Nilem? Uh, basically, more than halfway there. I'm a little afraid of of sleeping through the night and just missing it. So I'm going to go ahead and reef my sails. So they're still providing some forward momentum, but just not as much. And then we can actually uh, tune out and go to bed. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, Sim Gamers. Uh, it looks like we have, in fact, sailed just barely past the island of uh, of Al Nilem. We're gonna go ahead and get ourselves turned around here. Hopefully, hopefully we haven't stopped dead in the water. If we have, I know how to take care of that. Yeah, we're still turning. We've still got wind. We're good. Just had to tack over to starboard. We're on the starboard tack now. And basically, we need to come around this side of the island. So let's go ahead and let out our sheet a bunch. Our sheet winch a bunch. That ought to be good for now. Um, and get a drink of water, you know, morning drink of water. Brush your teeth or yeah, get a drink of water, brush your teeth, take your morning medications, eat breakfast, do some morning exercises maybe, do 10 squats. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little morning exercise. We are getting ourselves basically close hauled in here. To work our way in towards this dock. Sails are falling off at the moment because they're off the wind. But that'll be fixed in just a bit. Just pull on the main sheet winch. There we go. Now when we do get to the dock over there, we're going to need to do an about face. No, which means we're going to need to go from starboard tack to uh, port tack. And I'll want to do that with some momentum. So it might actually be easier if I sail out in the water a little ways here. Like this. Because right now the wind is basically coming directly out of there, but if I get... Uh, more or less to where the island is directly north of me. Or the dock is directly north of me. Then uh, I can go ahead and tack. And I'll have good wind getting to the dock and we can start getting ourselves set up to to put into port and deliver all of our cargo. So let's hang tight until we uh, get to that situation and bring up the compass and just sort of literally track where the dock is in, in relationship to the ship. Those pegs sticking out of the water indicate a sandbar that we definitely don't want to run aground of.
We're almost to the point where we're going to make this turn. It's just hanging on. Now this is probably a good time as any. Let's go ahead and put a couple pegs in here. Make the full turn. So because as you can see, the wind is going to come straight through our sails. And we're going to be sailing at quite a close hauled position to make this work. We are in fact very close hauled and that's not going to be uh, all that successful. So we need to continue sailing further, uh, further west. Northwest. And give us more room to work. It'll just make it easier when we depart if we don't have to depart downwind. So I'm going to wait until basically I'm a beam this place. Start coming about. Put in some time pulling up the halyard. You probably noticed I staggered my barrels so I could they weren't stacked up and I could still get around them. There we go. This close hauled position should be all right. Lock my steering wheel some more. And really, I'm going to go ahead and just almost nearly... I'm going to very much reef the sails. So there's very little wind pressure on them at this point. Got to be careful of the sandbar. Hopefully I don't run aground of it. Let's see how we did. Looks like that's going to work out fine. Okay, our sail is fully retracted. And we are pulling in the dock right now. Of course, I just fell off the boat. Yep. There we go. Let's go ahead and straighten out the wheel and we can uh, tie off the other end. So this game is still in active de development. One of the things they're fixing is this rubber banding that happens, actually. Rather than having these be rubber bands that pull the boat automatically, they're going to become more like... More like winches, I guess, where you can pull on, pull on or let out either side of the rope. But it'll take just a little bit for this boat to settle in as those lines pull us in closer. In the meantime, we can go ahead and deliver our rum. Rum due in Aldilim by tomorrow. We've delivered two of three. Starting to move spices. Just offloading here. Finding a place to park nearest to the tradesman is is key. All right, the rum mission is complete. And here is the spices mission complete. And we have earned ourselves 
Uh, an additional 24 Alok Lions. Above and beyond the 60 that we have. One of the things they've introduced since I played this game last is different um, coin denominations for the different regions. Including a, 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 a gold lions, which is compatible everywhere. But I have none of those because I'm poor. <laughs> so tune in next time as we try to turn our reputation into more lucrative missions. Until then, I'm Sim Gamer, and this has been Sailwind, available on Steam Early Access.